Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today is the 1st of January 2022, the first day of the year, and we're going to be coming out with a guide for Myth of Empires. Now today I'm going to teach you the best way to level up your hunting and taming skill, and this is completely AFKable, so you'll be able to just leave the game on overnight and level it up as much as humanly possible. Now it doesn't take too long and it is quite quick. I've been up since stupid o'clock in the morning, even after New Year's Eve, because we've been attacked by Asian guilds all bloody morning. Three times they've tried to raid us today, we've wiped them out three times. Got all the gear and all of the uh, siege uh, weapons and ammunition that they were going to use against us. But with the help of DNT, death and taxes, we were able to hold them back and uh, wipe them out on several occasions. It's just been a really, really long day. I'm absolutely shattered. But I wanted to get at least one guide out on the first day of the year. So we're doing it today. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my Myth of Empires content. Remember to subscribe if you do want to see more Myth of Empires content. And if you'd like to support myself and the channel, there is a Patreon in the description. So the question is, why do you want to level up hunting? If you want to go the one hit spear method on horseback to be able to just instantly explode people's horses hunting is paramount for that especially one aspect of it because you're going to be doing a massive amount of increased damage against animals and that includes player horses now the way that this works now normally you'd be gaining proficiency from killing animals and from using a stone knife on animals so there's more hits and you'll level up your hunting a lot quicker killing elephants and spending 20 minutes on a single elephant corpse but there is a much quicker way of doing this now to do the most damage you're going to be possibly wanting to do you're gonna need your riding skill you are gonna need your hunting skill you're gonna need your spear the pole arm skills get those proficiencies all the way up and another reason why this is a really important thing is to level up your actual physique stat so if we go into our actual uh, character page over here and then go to the actual skills over here you can see that these have more points depending on what level your actual proficiencies are in each of the things so uh, currently my currently my strength right now is 48 which gives me an extra 25 percent damage now to level these up it's just leveling up each of the proficiencies as far as you can on each of the different stats so your physique where mine is currently 43 which gives me 10 percent increased hp and increased damage resistance by eight percent so players do eight percent less damage to me and i have more hp is leveled up by leveling up all of these now hunting is just one of these that you can level up planting is another easy one you can level up lumbering mining all of your collection stuff can raise your hp quite Quite significant now i've been falling back a little bit on the proficiencies because after like the news of the court case and stuff i kind of fell back on not putting massive amount of hours into my proficiencies which i'm going to start doing again because it's starting to look a lot better on that front there's definitely a lot more optimism from the developers currently especially with the responses on twitter and the responses on facebook they're giving to the players so we might have something nice coming out of it so to level up your proficiencies of hunting and taming overnight or if you're just going to sit there afk during the day maybe watch a series on netflix or watch some anime or blah 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 whatever you fancy doing i've been watching a series i just watched goblin slayer again which is actually pretty damn good it's a bit dark if you're not into that sort of thing but otherwise is actually a really good series you can sit on anything from rabbit dens fox pens crocodile pens tiger pens whatever they're all going to give you a uh, hunting skill and taming skill now you just basically walk up to the actual den itself you're going to hold down e and you're going to press use fox pen now it's going to put you up inside you're going to be basically just gathering all of this stuff in the output and you're just going to sit there afk just throwing your stuff all over the foxes just getting whatever's in that box it just looks like ash to me and just throwing it all over the foxes and feeding them and you can see in the bottom left that my skills are actually going up i started 136 i wasn't paying attention to my hunting and now i've just spent the last 20 minutes one episode i'm at two, 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 two 21 in hunting skill now my taming is maxed out until i unlock it from 600 to 750 but that requires me to go out and get a lot of stuff but recently it's just been absolutely mental it's been absolutely insane with the amount of times that people have tried to raid us over the last week or so it's really hindered progression on the proficiency front etc we've just been having to fight all the time we haven't been fully wiped yet and we haven't been like uh, even close to being wiped yet but there has been some occasions where we thought oh shit this might be it and it just never happened we managed to fight back with the help of the alliance on the the today's occasion for example the three fights we had today there will be footage coming out i'll be doing a video on some pvp tips when you're going to be doing 1vx there's a guy in death and taxes called rain who was just mowing down people in uh, the d1 guild that we were fighting earlier and how good the arrow towers actually are at killing 
other players and other NPCs and all kinds of stuff when you uh, tactics on how to actually set those up so you don't always want to have the arrows in the towers but that's for another video now if you are actually going to set these pens up you don't want to be having your pen out on a PvP server out in the open if you're on a PvE server it doesn't matter you can just sit there and just level it up in the taming pen where you go over at night just make sure that when you put your food in here you put your food in the slot of the inventory here there's no other way, way to put it and this will feed you as you're going along as your food goes down in the top left up here your food goes down over time so that's where you have to place the food in order to automatically do it so you don't die of starvation overnight but obviously if you're on a pvp server you're going to want to have at least a rabbit pen or a fox pen the smaller pens inside your actual base on the roof or inside in a protected area so you can afk all night and not have to worry about it and this is so far the best easiest and quickest way to level up your hunting skill currently it's going to help you against tigers it's going to help you against bears wolves whatever you fancy player horses it's going to help you massively fight in those you get this skill up and you're it's at the bottom of the multiplier so when you see the uh when you see the breakdown by going into the stat on the bottom left you can actually go in there and you can see where your damage breakdown is the multiplier for the hunting skill that comes at the bottom so the higher your hunting skill the ma more, much much more damage you're going to do when attacking player horses and attacking animals so it's definitely one of the more important ones that i let myself go on and i'm starting to figure out this is very important for you guys to actually learn as well now i do have videos on the channel for getting rabbit rabbit pens fox pens boar pens etc set up and sorted so if you want to check those out i will leave the link for that in the description so you can set these up and get this actual farm going for you and that's all we have for today i do have a video coming up which is the quickest way to level from 50 to 60 which i'm going to be using which is why i'm still 56 i'm waiting to get it all set up so i'll do it all in one video to show you how quickly you can get from 56 to 60 in really really quick time that'll be coming out very soon so make sure to look out for that one i hope you all had an amazing new year's eve got really drunk had a lot of good times with your friends and family and you didn't get into too much trouble and obviously all the best in the coming year for everyone all the people that support me and watch the videos thank you very much remember to like the video if you do enjoy my myth of empires content and subscribe if you want to see all the more myth of empires content and other survival gaming content as well there is a patreon in the description if you do fancy supporting me and the channel Hopefully there's no more raids in the coming days to a week. I don't want to have a little bit of a break. I've been on stupid amount of hours a day waking up at stupid clock in the morning to fight these people. And it's starting to get a little bit tiresome. I want to thank you all for watching. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.